Hey, there it goes. I was trying to get a record earlier and I messed up. I know my hands are not stale, but I think I'm getting a little bit old. <laughs> but anyway, or older, rather. Um, this is how you do it. You put each lug on to take it off. And you also have washers to put on the back of this uh, pipe here, or rod. But let me show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. I'm going to take it off for you right now. One second. This piece, of, this piece of tool came from a hub. He made it for me within a two-day period. Hubmaster. This is probably the first in the world. Okay. This is a great idea. Check him out at uh, hubmaster.com. So I'm going to add washers to this. Because you, as you can see, it already went in some here. See that? It was all the way like an eighth out you know just about an eighth uh, recessed but now it's more it's about a quarter now so I'm kind of I'm really happy that it's working I'm gonna put uh, three more washers on there and then I'll add more as I go let's see what happens here it doesn't matter if it takes 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes okay I'm not in a rush I'm not this is not you know I'm not speed here it's better than what I was doing nothing I couldn't get it off at all Bobcat uh, they charge about two or three thousand dollars just to do the front end so imagine what the back times that twice so Hubmaster made this for me for 500 bucks 500 dollars at a drop of a dime he made it quick in two days sent it out I send them measurements and we work together over the phones you know specs best we can and he got it done he he, he got it done and and he has an, an arm that's broken I was told he's in a, in a sling and in a cast I believe so oh I put it backwards guys. sorry so I'm gonna turn it around it's just that I'm trying to do it quickly so you guys can see how this works I'm, he's not paying me he's, he's, he's not promoting me you know uh, but I'm doing it because I'm grateful He's gonna send me another one. He promised to send me another one on the strength that uh, you know, had to widen up the holes a little bit, but that's okay. He, he's a man of his word. It works. Look it. As you can see, it fits perfect. All I did is widen up the holes a little bit. But he made it. It's beautiful. It's not painted or anything yet, but it's, remember, this is the first one made in the world by Hubmaster. He makes for the S300s, you know, medium sized machines and large machines, but not the small ones like this. So, but you know what? It works. I got the other side off. And then at the same token, I'm learning how to uh, take off the, uh, <laughs> the racers, which are difficult and just awkward, you know? You got to take both of these sides in order to do that. I'll probably make a video on how to do that as well. But um, I got an idea from somebody online. And I just did something a little bit different than he did. Which is the same concept only. But he went through trial and error that I didn't want to go through. So I just cut straight to the chase because I learned from his mistake. So I just got to look back here. See? Yeah, I got about a quarter inch left still to go in, and you'll see this hub come out. Maybe not right now, but in the next uh, three or four washers, it'll be out. You can tighten up each one like that. It's about getting there as tight. Let me see. Yep, it's about there. Okay. See, I just tighten all just to make sure they're all tight. Now take it back off. Doesn't matter how many times you take it off or put it on to me. Okay? The most I do it is three times. But guess what? I got it off. I had downtime. 
I need a skid steer for, not downtime, but I was riding a skid steer on broken bearings for about three or four months. Trust me, I heard a crunching and grinding in there. The racers lasted. I guess the, uh, the axle was riding on the racers. But the racers rusted. There's not, there was not a chrome on those racers, and I'll show you that in a minute. That means that the, that, that the bearings were not rubbing on the, you know, were not rolling on the racers. You see how it's going back more? Like that? That's beautiful. This guy made this, man, in two days. He worked with me. I called him. He said he didn't care if I called him at 2 o'clock in the morning. And I said, no, I won't call you then, which I do work at those hours, you know. But he's a farmer, and he needs to sleep. So... I just waited till the next day. I was patient, and I had faith that he was going to get something done for me. I was just hoping to get it done. Set, you see? Look at that. I'll tighten this up with a vice grip, or you know, you can use a wrench. I just don't want to go get a wrench because it take my, takes time. So I just, you know, snug it. Not to put it tight, just snug it. Put it back in there like that. I put top on there for a reason because it helps me better, faster. See, look at that. They're all leaving all the holes. Just a couple of them I had to whiten it up. Whiten two of them up. But he promised to make me uh, a brand spanking new one. Brand new one. So, he said just get your, get your, get your uh, hub off. Get to work. You know, get your bobcat rolling. He understands downtime because he's a farmer. So, I appreciate him. Bobcat would charge you, what I said, about two, three thousand? Or more, because I would have found something else wrong with it. Watch this hook come off. Bottle jacks don't fit in between here, by the way, so don't even think about that. Maybe on the S300, the big and medium sized Bobcats, which he does sell these already, already made, but he made this one for me, like fast. So, for the world out there, Hub Master is the man. I'm dead serious. Watch how this is going to come off. I have my own business in Chicago. Vegas Brick Paving. At Vegas, Vegas Brick Paving. I got YouTube videos out. Vegas Brick Paving in Chicago. So. Well, it seems like it's on there pretty tight. So we'll see what happens now. Look at that. You see that? Beautiful. That fast. How long did it take me? About eight minutes. So there you have it. So to me, like I said, it doesn't really matter how long it takes, but eight minutes is even more impressive. So this pushes against here like that. See that? And then it pulls it out. So. I'm going to show you the racer. This is the inside racer. See, it's all rusty. See that? There was no rolling on this. So... That's on the other side. The other one was the other side was leaking worse than this one. The back ones are leaking too, but uh, I'll show you what I had to do there real fast. But I took this. These are the inside racers, so I'll show you that in a minute. I had to take out. I have to take out the outside, but I got to take this side out so I can pound it out from the inside. But from the other side of the skid steer, you know, the other side, three feet on the other side, come this way and knock this one out from the outside. The insides, I knock them off through here, through the outer. But uh, like I said. You gotta come up with a plan. So let me show you. You see that? I had to cut a new hole. Another, uh, what is it, a trap door? But Bobcat should have thought about that. 
I could never get a wrench in here to take this out through here. There was no way. I'm going to get a wrench in there. Impossible. Look at that. Yeah, impossible to get a wrench. This was covered all steel. So now I made a, another one. I weld a piece. Put Use a cork gasket. I won't weld it. I use a cork gasket. Get a piece of metal and put it down just like this one would be. Then I think I would do one for the back when I do my back ones. But I got to take the hot, the, this pump out. And I got to take off. Man, maybe the hydrostatic. We'll see. The hydrostatic here. The hydrostatic here. I gotta take it out. I took it out before. I got a video on that. And I gotta take this out here. The spools. You know, the whole contraption. And then make a hole in there at the bottom to take out the gears. To, to take out the uh, axle in the back. Not the gears, get axle. But for today and for the next month, I think I'm gonna leave the back ones for a little while. And just worry about doing the front right now. I think the back ones are okay just for a little bit. But there you go. See? I think you can see the bolt in there <laughs> from the other side. I loosen up that bolt right there. I was never gonna get to it unless I got it through the top there when I made that hole. Okay. So now, what else I was gonna show you? Um, to get this racer off, I gotta figure it out. I don't know if I'm gonna knock it off from the inside this way or I gotta hit it here to knock it out through there and then reinstall it from the inside. I'm not sure. This is something that I'm learning right now. But as you can see, the video is about the hub. <sighs> the hub puller. The hub puller is by hubmaster.com. Beautiful. Look at that. I, I usually say, you know, I got a saying uh, that I picked up when I was a kid. You can't beat that with a baseball bat. <laughs> so this is beautiful. Thank you, uh, Jerry from Hubmaster. Uh, look him up at Hubmaster. Hubmaster. H U B Master. M A S A T E R. Dot com. Hubmaster. Dot com. Which is beautiful. Look at that. I think I got it off in eight minutes. See that? And I didn't think it was gonna come off that fast. Look at that. Cool, right? He's got uh, some for S300s, you know, big ones, you know. Uh, the medium-sized skid steers and the, and the larger skid steers. He just made this one. This is the first one he's made in the world. And I really appreciate him. I don't think there's anything else I got to show you. Um, Alright, see you guys later.